How y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Ob Wit of Wit Television. How y'all doing today, this morning, this evening, whatever day it is? I don't know where you guys are at, but I also want to say Happy Thanksgiving. I know it's super early, but it's not really early because tomorrow's Thanksgiving, and I'm dropping a video today. But I'm gonna jump right into it. Even though I'm gonna go ahead and say it before everybody else say it. You know the Cardinals banged up. They don't got a starting quarterback. It don't matter. Everybody, you know, is quote unquote elite players making the 53 man roster. You look at us against the Chargers. Chargers was depleted, but they put up a fight. Um, I think the offense now really finding their groove. Each player touched the Brock. We try to get to Jawan Jennings. He dropped the pass. He ain't dropped it, but it was incomplete. McCaffrey. 100, 103 yards uh, uh, from scrimmage. Uh, Kittle, two touchdowns. Debo with a touchdown. Brandon Ayuk, two touchdowns. Um, Elijah Mitchell came in there at the second half, ran the ball. That's one thing I like. Shanahan he did an amazing job managing the production of each player. You got so many weapons on the team, but you find a way that each player touches the rock. That's phenomenal. Round of applause for that. For the third straight game, the defense allowed zero points second half. Demico Ryan's you out there making adjustments. Second half adjustments is amazing. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Uh, we steamroll over the uh, Arizona Cardinals to get first place in the NFC West, number, number three seed in the playoffs. I think we found in our groove. We found our groove. And I hope that we continue to have this same production. Uh, because one thing I like what Jimmy's doing, he's playing Jimmy Ball. He's not really trying to do too much he's doing just enough what he's capable of doing without overextending himself scram out the pocket a little floater to kittle just, just playing smart football that's the most important thing that you could do as a football player <laughs> is play smart football and he's doing it at the quarterback position with that being said we go into sunday versus the, the new orleans saints um the saints are actually trying to get their playoff slot together um they got, a, they got a nice little team over there. Uh, Defensive-wise, it's going to be a little challenge. We get to see how our offense play against uh, a decent defense. Uh, when I say decent, I'm not going to say they... They got decent corners, nice little line. Linebackers okay. So now we really can see how we match up against a, a okay defense. Because a lot of people are saying that, you know, we can't be outside of division playoff teams. I heard that comment come around. So I'm like, oh, whatever. It's always going to be something. Uh, but I'm, I'm excited to play that team. I know when we play the New Orleans Saints, uh, they have, they have, a, it's, it's, it, when we play the Falcons, just like that, you know, a lot of these teams come in playing us with a chip on their shoulder. Oh, the 49ers, they're going to come over here and just run all over us and do this, do that. So we, we already know we're going up against somebody that's trying to prove themselves and, you know, show themselves worthy. So I feel like, you know, the way we came at the Cardinals, the same way we need to come at this uh, New Orleans Saints. Um, the run game, bootlegs, play actions, all that. Um, I think that we have to get Kittle going early. Just like I said in the last video, um, him touching the rock just electrifies the offense. Um Getting Debo going, that's another thing. I want to get Debo going early as well. Put points on the board and, and, and take this game away from him as soon as possible. The quicker we get this game in our hands, the quicker we could relax, the quicker we could put people aside, uh, just like we did um, against the Arizona Cardinals. I was happy that we took our starters out. <laughs> that was the biggest thing because injury is, you already know how that goes. Uh, but Kyle pulled him. Uh, thank you, Kyle. Thanks for pulling him. Thank you. We don't need no more injuries. Uh, Sosa, hope, I hope he's coming back. Get that Bosa and Sosa action back. Uh, Eric Ormstead, I hope he gets come back. Uh, Ken Law, I hope he gets to come back. We still missing some key pieces, key pieces on that defense, but the defense is really showing up. They they really showing up, and I like how uh, Willis and, and and Drake Jackson, uh, Givens, all them boys coming in and really putting in that work. You know, both is gonna be both regardless. It don't matter who. <laughs> both is gonna be both. But I like that. I like the fact that we in there. We really balling. Uh, the defense is playing extremely well. Shout out Lenore. 
Um, he really came out there and stepped in that, that, that number two spot for the corner. Came out there and did his due diligence. Uh, I, it's more, I ain't gonna say it's negative, this is my opinion. Jimmy Ward, I like him, don't get me wrong, uh, but I would love to see Womack in that nickel, that nickel slot. Um, we gotta find something else we can use Jimmy on. I don't know what else. You know, I, we gotta figure that out. We really gotta figure that out. Find a way to find a way to put him in that defense. I mean, he's doing well, but I, I, I just feel like in that nickel spot, it's not. It's, he used to play it. He used to play it, but it's not him right now. He's not playing safety because Gibson holding it down and Funk got holding it down. Uh, I don't mind putting him in certain packages. I'd love to see him in goal line packages because he, he always wanted to hit. Um, put him in that put him in that red zone package. But coverage wise, please get Womack out there because Womack gonna shut it down. Um, I would love to see Arbor Thomas out there. I mean, we ain't seen him all year. I don't know what the situation with him is, but we need to start testing these corners. We really gotta start putting these corners out there, trying to figure out you know who's out there, who's doing good, who's doing the blase blase because we don't want to be put in a situation where someone gets hurt and the corner hasn't been playing all year. Let them go out there and get their feet wet. Let them go out there and, you know, get their get, get they cleats dirty. But um, when we go out there and play the Saints, if, if Jimmy go out there and play Jimmy ball, we have no 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 issues on offense. That's a well oil machine right now. The way they play uh, Monday night is out of this world. Um, I'm pretty sure we could have put more points on the board, but you know how NFL go. It is what it is. Mistakes going to happen. But overall, one thing that I honestly got to say from here on out, we got to start early. We got to start putting points on the board early. Because second half, the defense is going to shut it down. They're going to shut stuff down. So having all that being said, Jimmy needs to go out there and do him. Go out there a little dump off. Bum, bum, bum. Hit him, hit him. Check downs. Crossing patterns. Do the whole nine. So having all that, put all that in the mix it's, it's game time man. it's game time you know uh, we gotta get this we gotta get this New Orleans game and we gotta stay on top of the NFC West to continue you know our our, our playoff record I mean put our, put ourselves in the playoffs where you know the number three seed you know try to fight you know get that home field advantage um just looking at the NFC itself and as, as a whole I think we are the better team we are the better team we have more uh, athletes. That's mean by that is better playmakers. Uh, like I said, uh, Brandon Ayuk been Brandon Ayuk. He just really found his groove with Jimmy. Debo been Debo. Great athlete. Kittle, great athlete. Yushak, great athlete. Uh, Elijah Mitchell, great athlete. Uh, McCaffrey, great athlete. Um, Jawan Jennings, he finding himself in that, that, that athlete piece. I mean, he don't have the speed, but he's very good at getting open <laughs> so great athlete um our offense we have the best offense in the nfl to me in my opinion we have the best offense all around offense is pro bowl team defense we find ways to stop them every player is not going to be a in your eyes the greatest but we have mooney a fun guy finding himself this year uh gimson he he reignited he uh renovated himself uh fred warner Al Shair, Greenlaw. We have the we have the talent. We have the talent. So we just got to show them, man. We got to show them. Great play calling by Kyle Shanahan as well. Uh, it, was, it was just great. Everything was hitting. I'm just hoping that he got that second half of the season playbook ready because we need to go ahead and open it up. Find ourselves to clinch a playoff berth and just keep it the way it is and just continue to ball out because we gotta we gotta win. We got to win. We should have been winning. Uh, but, you know, um, circumstances happen. Trey Lance getting hurt. That's another thing. I know I'm going to keep you all alone in this video because it's Thanksgiving. But Trey Lance, if he's available, come back. Do we bring him back? Do we bring him in and put him in the system? Put him in a two-quarterback system, work him back in there? Or keep it where it is? Because Jimmy is, <laughs> he takes control. And I know another person said that, you know, it's good to keep Jimmy where he at as far as incentives because he's playing. He's he not getting that all that money. He got to work for every piece of his money. So, I mean, to me, it's worth it. He's balling, man. I you can't take nothing from Jimmy right now. Jimmy is balling. So, that's one of the questions that I want to know, man. Should we brain train and just put him in his offense and just mix it up a little bit or just 
keep him out for the year. I mean, me personally, he needs the experience. Um, I say, like, say towards the end of the year, say we clinch the playoff berths, let him finish it out. Let him finish the season out. Um, if it's not going to hurt our record and hurt our, you know, seed, you know, so put him out there. Um, but we still got two more uh, division games with the Seahawks in Arizona. Uh, but right now we focus on New Orleans. Was, was, we got three home games. So let's go ahead and win these three home games, man, get ourselves together. And just take over the year. That's all I can say. Take over the year. But I just want to go ahead and say early. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, all of the above. Because you truly, truly appreciate it. To my faithful subscriber, my new subscriber, and all my subscribers. I want to say thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I say, tune in to next week. We'll see what it is. You know, you know. You know, you know. You know, you know.